Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Peace be unto you. Have a peaceful Sabbath. Hey, High Vibe Tribe family. It's good to connect with you again. I'll be putting uh, a couple videos, several videos together because I got behind because of technical difficulties. But I wanted to uh, share the blessings that came out of the breath work last week. And most of it I was just pretty chill and relaxing, but toward the end, I begin to see flashes of my school days photographs and it started when I was five years started when I was five years old I saw the image oh I had a pale pink dress had two satin ribbons that had two ponytails I had this little goofy smile and the first way I reacted when I saw her was oh lord this poor wounded creature so then it flashed to third grade and I was in a green dress and I noticed that the light was gone out of my eyes I had veiled eyes and then so I said, I saw the difference, but I didn't comprehend it. So I went back and, and, and looked at the, the five-year-old picture. And when I looked at her, I saw a passion and a fire in her eyes. She was a very strong little girl. That is my inner child. I've always felt that she's the strongest part of my personality, but I just didn't clearly know who she was. But anyway, as I thought and looked back at the third grade picture of the, with the veiled eyes, I rejected her because I was wounded and I turned my back on her because I thought she was like damaged goods. You know, when I needed, when she needed me most, when I needed myself most, and I was getting ready to, by this time we were connected, me and my inner child. We knew that we were in a dialogue and I was going to say, please forgive me for turning my back on you, especially when I needed you so much, when, you know, you needed me so much. But before I could speak, she said, I forgive you. So now let's go. <laughs> uh, and I thought, well, I, I am healed in a lot of things. She said, if you healed, I'm healed. We the same person. So the revelation that I got, I, I, the way I was taught is that the inner child is almost like a haunting ghost that keeps coming back whining and crying. But the clarity that I got is the inner child is my spirit speaking to my soul. The inner child is not wounded. You can't wound something that's infinite in spirit connected right to love jehovah is love god is love it's the soul that is wounded and we we had somebody said a little cute little little idiom uh in in the uh training you can take your inner child for a ride but don't let her drive baby she's driving she's unconscious she's more powerful she is your spirit you in the back seat and the only reason she's driving is because you, you can't handle the wheel yet. And as soon as you can, she'll be glad to relinquish it. She keeps coming back to tell you she herself is not wounded. Your soul is wounded. The mind, will, and the motion. I believe mankind is a tripart being, spirit, soul, and body. I believe the inner child is your soul. That's truly who you are, powerful. But it's the soul that gets wounded. And so... I connected to her, I saw her beauty, and now since that breath work, I'm, we're, we're in congruence. We are in alignment. And I looked at my, I looked in the mirror the other day and I said, I love you girl, and I'm going to take care of you. I could just see my beauty and I, and I feel the strength in her. So I just thank God that I got that convergence. And so, uh, just excited about it. But uh, three hours later, well first let me back up a little bit and tell you why I'm out here. I forgot to tell my purpose, but I came out, I left Washington State at, um, and the chimes are coming, but I think it's good because that's symbolic of his time for us. Um, but anyway, I left Washington State October 2021 to pursue launching a vision of setting up sanctuaries for single, for single women, that's women unmarried without children, that they can be safe, have affordable place when they're in a vulnerable area so they can grow, they won't be tempted to get into toxic relationships. But anyway, so um, I left, uh, I saved up two years, all the money I could, about $17,000, came out to the southern tip of Lake Michigan, stayed in um, Chicago about 15 months. But after COVID, it was a lot of fear there. People, it was medical Jim Crow, just segregated. Like, if you're not vaccinated, don't come here. And so make a long story short, I've only been able to work like three months out of those two years. So I'm out of funds. I'm living out of my truck right now. And I just, you know, I feel bad about it. Like, you're 61 in your truck. Couldn't you do any better than this? But anyway, so that that's one of the things. And um, 
I, I have a calling to write, to co-write a book with God about the RH negative blood apocalypse and to write, be a screenwriter writer and director for a trilogy about the kingdom of God. And now I'm seeing that a role as a spiritual healer or counselor is going to be in there too. So anyway, that being said, um, so, you know, I, I'm just really rejuvenated about uh, the breath work and like three hours later, I get a text that one of my family members attempted to commit suicide. Thank God they found her and she didn't. You know, she is like the second best avatar uh, that, that I think for the, the women's um, sanctuary and just a, a relative that I wanted to do more for, but I was emotionally and financially unstable, a few states away from me, not in the same state, and I just didn't. And so I felt so bad I, and I started beating myself up. You should have tried harder. You should. And then the Holy Spirit said, you are living in your truck right now for the last eight weeks because you're trying to pursue this sanctuary, to do this, to, to launch this vision. And after that was said, I felt so grateful that I was in the exact same disposition because it was evidence that I am willing to sacrifice and to try to go for it and I'm doing the very best that I can to manifest the, the calling. So I thank God for that and I've just been feeling really good again when I look at myself, I see I'm, I'm in congruence, I'm in synchronicity, I'm in alignment with my inner child. And I, I love her, I see beauty, and I can embrace her. I can embrace myself for the first time in a very long time. And so I thank God for that. All right, family, have a blessed evening. Look forward to uh, joining you uh, the rest of the week. Take care. Namaste. Judah Jackson signing off. Peace out.